So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes! Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. New Year, same shit. See ya, people. Woo! Good morning, Trigo! What's happening? I've got good news. Barney are currently unbeaten this decade. It's here. It's now. It's game day. We're away for this one. We're off to a field. It's the Dog and Duck Pub, the Barnet in the Vanarama National League. So a lot of people have been doing that decade challenge thingy. I thought I might as well give it a go. Taken by Togwell. He lets it in. Here comes the corner. Cash on the header. And driven in. The Bees are champions of the Vanarama Conference. And now it's the invasion of the swarm. Scenes of utter jubilation. Barnets have deserved this. Worthy champions, and they will return to the Football League after a two year absence. Tears of joy there. It's Martin Allen's moment, it's the players' moment. And as it's New Year's Day, you might as well have a drink on me. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. Don't worry, I didn't forget you, Dog and Duck Pub. Players are making their way out to Wembley Stadium, the National Stadium, for the player final. Rhinehouse, heavy touch from Rhinehouse, and then he's... 50 seconds on the clock. There he is on the left-hand side, puts a cross in, Andy Cork in the near post! Woodards, Woodards with a great cross into the middle, chance, 1-1. One, one. The extra time winner. Connor Jennings, James Norwood, yeah. with a header from close referee, sounds his whistle, see you in the Football League! It was at this moment he knew, he fucked up. But anyway, that's another chat in bollocks, let's get to football news! So the Dog and Duck Pub finished 20th last season, where they played 46 times, winning 12, drawing 16, losing 18, scoring 53, conceding 65, giving a goal difference of minus 12, and they finished on 52 points. They currently sit 8th. Not sure how that's happened. They must have called in a few ringers this season. I hope we check cards before kickoff. And the last five games have been three wins, one draw, and one loss. See? They lost to another pub team in a cup. Definitely playing ringers. <laughs> Luke Gerrard, still volunteering at the Dog and Duck, where he's now taken 225 shifts. His till was up 77 times. His till was spot on 72 times. And his till was down 76 times. That gives him a percentage of 34.22 of his till percentages. It was 36.21. Last time we was in your boozer. You've been dipping your hand in a till, mate. Number nine, Kabongo Shimanga, who has 14 goals in 27 games. I don't care about your mess. I don't give a fuck. Oh shit. Here we go again. Boxing Day 2018. Can't really remember what happened, but they put on some dodgy roast potatoes. So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Dog and Duck Pub, chatting about you got a semi all the time with your wood army. No one wants to see your old boy, you bunch of perverts. That's a mighty full sack you're carrying. Piss off, you perverted old freak. Ooh, -hoo, we got a fighter. You bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet! Starting 11 for Barnet today in a 3 5 2. We make one change. Loach in between the sticks. Your free centre arse of Elliot Johnson, Ari Taylor, and Callum Reynolds. David Zatondo is your left wing back. Shad Alexander is your right wing back. Jack Taylor and Captain James Dunn, the two centre mids. Wesley Fonguk in the number 10 role. And up front, Simon Nakanola and Jack Barham. And this is how the dog and duck line up for today. 20 minutes in, currently 0 0. Half in the first three minutes, Elliot Johnson whipped a free kick in. Pretty much on the area, Jack Barham's got up, went wide. Just after that, Jack Taylor, a shot from about 20 yards went wide not a lot to talk about green mat it's a slow game slow start 24 in still nil nil boring woods first dangerous attack ball gets played in along the edge of the box i mean goyer cutting in as a left foot shot just went wide in the post dog and darts attacks been all down our right hand side oh, oh fuck you know. 
30 minutes in, we should be 1 0 up. Boring will play a dodgy back pass to Stevens. Jack Byron closes him down, good press. Knocks the ball to Sim. Sim plays into Fongu. He's got no one around him. He's driving at goal. He has a shot. It's hit the corner of the bar. Should have done better with that one. Tensity half score still hasn't changed. Another great opportunity by us. Elliot Johnson with a shot from about 30 yards. Ashmore dives across, punches it wide with his right. Two minutes left in the first half. Score had changed. Neither is the star or the shape of the game. Half time here at a park somewhere. Dog and Duck pub nil. It's Barnet nil. We've had about seven an opportunity. Three of them we should have buried. Dog and Duck have done next to nothing. They had one effort that went wide. Yeah, fill the North Bank. You couldn't fill the fucking Sperm Bank. <laughs> <laughs> Dog and Duck are pressing well every time that we're on the ball. We're standing off like we always do and invite pressure. So many wasteful balls by both sides, so many loose balls. Chances that we've had, we haven't really created. We've just latched onto a misplaced pass by them. The worst performance, but it's not exactly electric. The good news is we're still currently unbeaten in this decade and we haven't conceded. Let's see what the second half brings. Come on, Barnett. Sixty-five minutes into the second half, the score hasn't changed. Dog and Dunk have started the bright hour. We're still sleeping, struggling to wake up and get into the pace of this game. But what we have done, we've wasted with our opportunities. Into the last twenty, it's not changed at all. They've dragged us down to their level, just like they did last season. And we all know what happened there, don't we? Seventy-eight minutes on the clock, still nil-nil. Smith had a shot from about twenty yards. Loach punches wide, goes for a corner. We managed to clear our lines. Into ninetieth, score hasn't changed. The whole concept of this fucking game. Has and change four minutes to remain boring so the game finished dog and duck pub nil barnet nil it's the same old problems holding us back defensively we didn't have anything to worry about and we looked comfortable throughout the game but it's the lack of movement going forward that does not help us should have been about two three nil up at least going in at half time with the chances that we had second half there's no real point talking about that i could have stood in goal for the dog and duck for the whole half and that we didn't really come alive until the 90th minute dog and duck dragged us down to their level again like they do and we got suckered into it so you got to look at them and go a typical side who's organized and hard to break down and a physical presence we don't know how to deal with them we played the better football they had the physicality i just feel like we're too easy predictable to play against pub team played to their strengths but it is now unbeaten in five it's another clean sheet and it's good to have jack byron back in the team jack taylor tried played balls through and no one was running for him and even cannon reynolds when he was playing balls no one moving for him we're still carrying far too many passengers akinoda was lazy totonda waste Full. Von Gook didn't have his best game. But up next, home this Saturday, Halifax Town. I just want to see a goal. I've seen two games, both nil-nils. You know what to do. Tala. And happy new year. What?